Today I'm going to just explain sort of how I got to where I am um, and in particular how I made the decision um, when I was a college student to switch my career path to oceanography uh, instead of what I planned which was to go to medical school. I'd always been interested in the ocean um, growing up especially. Um, I think I, I wanted to be uh, like a dolphin or a whale trainer. Um, when I was in college and I was deciding what I wanted to do um, after college, I kind of got away from the idea of being a whale trainer uh, or, you know, being a marine biologist just because I thought, like, that's such a cool job. Like, everyone's gonna want to do it, right? I mean, all you have to do is look at some of the other videos on here made by Mike um, or our other marine biologists and just like feel, you know, like, oh, wouldn't that be the coolest thing to do? That's a lot of competition for someone who is from the Midwest uh, where there are no oceans. I had good grades and, um, you know, my family encouraged me to take advantage of that and uh, go to medical school. So that is sort of what I plan to do. But then in my junior year of college, I wanted to do something different for my semester abroad experience. I read about this program called C Semester, um, and C stands for C Education Association. And it was pretty much like the craziest semester abroad experience that, that I could think of doing. Um, and the reason is that it is a uh, six week on land program um, where you learn about oceanography and uh, sailing. And then it is a six week uh, trip to sea on a sailing vessel. So yes, like a sailboat. Um, and so I, for someone who had never been out of sight of land, uh, you know, in their entire life, this sounded pretty exciting and very cool. And I sort of looked at it as a way to live out my dreams of, you know, being an oceanographer or marine biologist while still maintaining my uh, practical um, career plans of going to medical school. And so I did a program that was focused on uh, the oceans and climate change. And we sailed from Mexico all the way to Tahiti. Uh, and so there were times on this cruise where um, the space station could pass overhead and we would just know that like those humans on the space station were the closest humans um, to our ship, uh, you know, anywhere around us. Um, so that was, it's pretty isolated out there. The ocean's a really big place. And this experience really showed me that um, marine science was still something that, that I really loved, that I found very interesting, um, fascinating even and um, that maybe I could make a career out of this after all uh, and that it would be something that I could be really passionate about so that even when you know things got tough that I would have you know the strength and the energy um, to keep going and I was just so much happier um, being outside um, working uh, in the sun <laughs> than I predicted that I would be if I went to medical school, um, which uh, grad school is stressful, but so is medical school. And so I felt like it was important that I really enjoy or care about whatever I was um, working on. So at the last minute, um, I mean, not really at the last minute, but my senior year of college in the fall semester, is, which is the time when you're applying to medical school or to grad school, um, I kind of changed all of my plans um, because I just had this feeling that this was what I should do. So I applied to all uh, oceanography programs and I did not tell my family at first, like I did not tell my parents because I thought that they would be upset and um, they were a little bit surprised. Funny thing is kind of like how this story ends um, because one thing I remember my dad saying when, uh, when I first told him that I was gonna do a PhD in oceanography was, um, you know, that there weren't gonna be any jobs when I was finished. And at the time I was just like, of course there'll be jobs. Like 
I could work for the government, I could, uh, you know, be a professor, I could do all sorts of things. Uh, but I was very naive. Like, in a way, he was kind of right, because it is a much more competitive world in the academic research world, um, in the oceanography world, than I was anticipating um, as a senior in college. Um, and so looking back, uh, it was not an easy road um, to get to where I am now. Uh, but that the interest and the fascination that I have with what I study has really sustained and, and pushed me through the tough times. Um, I never thought I'd be back in the Midwest uh, since I study oceanography, but here I am um, because that's where the opportunity was. And uh, it turns out that the Great Lakes, which is I think where I'll spend a lot of my time now in the coming years, uh, they are a lot like oceans. Um, they just don't have salt uh, and the microbes that live in the Great Lakes are completely different and um, I think that's actually really exciting. So the lesson is do what you're interested in, um, keep an open mind, be flexible, and uh, things will work out. Bellagio and I would like to remind you to like, share, subscribe, and uh, spread the word that science is for everyone and anyone can do science. Right? Mm -hmm.